The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman's new running backs coach, the Hall of Famer, Leonard Weaver. Uh, coach Bishop. <laughs> I, I suppose now. Uh, how surreal is this? Been coaching in the high school oh, ranks the past few years. Obviously, uh, we can go on and on about the Pro Bowl career, yada, yada, yada. But uh, what is it like to, to come back to the place that I would argue probably formed you? Oh, man, it's a little unreal. I mean, to know that it's come back full circle, uh, going through everything that I've been through, man, and just to be back at the point, at this point in this area of my life here at Carson Newman, I'm so excited, I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm, I'm just so excited. Grounds where I know I'm familiar with and I get to grow again, but this time I get some knowledge and I get to transfer, so I'm excited about that. Uh, you were a tight end in your time here. Uh, shades of Valdosta State, yeah. catching 68-yard touchdown passes come to mind, um, but spent your time in the NFL yeah. as a fullback. How do you hope to translate those skills to uh, let's face it, I've, if I had to pick a position that Carson Newman football is known about, I'm either going offensive line or running back, and those two That's are probably right. in tandem. What's it going to be like to coach that? Um, I'm excited because uh, I get to bring an element of the game from where I come from in terms of the NFL, taking that knowledge, taking all of the, the things I was able to grasp by playing at that level and being able to implement it here and then translate it to the guys. I know it's a lot of people who think they know what goes on at the level, but there are a lot of people that don't. You know, and I get to give that to the guys and let them know and give them the expectations of what it's going to be like. It's not easy. It's not something that you're just going to walk through. But it demands a lot of time, hard work, and dedication. And, and I hope I can translate that to them. Uh, you, obviously, much like anybody that walked through these halls over the last four decades, played for Ken Sparks. Yes, Mike Clowney, a fellow Sparksian yep. disciple, Absolutely. now the helm of the program. What's it like to get to go to battle with a guy that – uh, is carrying on the mantle that uh, Ken Sparks provided over the last you know, 40 years. It's truly an honor um, because he understands what Ken was trying to do. I understand preaching the gospel, watching young men's lives change. That was always the mission. And for somebody like Clowney to have the position to carry it on, I think it's a complete honor because now those guys get the same feed, they get the same news, they get the same understanding of what the tempo is and what's to be expected. And I think that's something that needs to be set and has been set, and I'm looking forward to adding to it. All right. When you were a player, uh, we alluded to it in the open, the bishop. Uh, <laughs> clearly, uh, there's a, a degree of, we'll call it missionary work, I suppose, yeah. that goes along with this. Uh, probably a different mindset mentality when you were as a player and leading things. How does that change? Does it change uh, now that you've got your own room? Um, no, it's not going to change. Um, that's a part of who I am. I mean, that's a great part of how I live my life. And it's so important for me to teach guys and share my experiences on how to live that life with these guys. Because at the end of the day, just like Kim Sparks' mission was, is for these guys' lives to change when they left. A lot of guys don't necessarily change when they're here. <laughs> They change in the experience once you talk about the things that he was talking about, about life, how to deal with your family, and, and different things like that, money, and, and just being the type of man of integrity that he was always talking about. You don't see those things a lot of times until you leave. So to be able to translate that into my own room, I think is going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited uh, to get to know those guys and to be able to share and be back and see some of the, even the professors that are still here. I'm excited <laughs> to see if some of them are still around that I can say, hey, how you doing? What's going on? So it's going to be exciting, man. I'm really excited. Uh, you look at the position. Uh, a lot of new faces. There's a lot of unknowns uh, within the room. What are the advantages, the disadvantages to what's pretty much a brand new crop of running backs? I think the fact that we get to all learn each other again. I think me coming in, being new, having some experience and then getting to know those guys, I think that's going to change the dynamics a little bit, as well as I think the background a little bit and what I've done, that's going to change because, you know, I think I'll come in with a little bit of respect, but I think the overall position is they're going to get to see that I know how to coach, that I'm ready to coach them, that I love them, that it's beyond just football for me, and I think that's going to bring our room together even more. So not to say that they weren't together before, but I think it's going to really bring us together a little bit more. And thanks for the time. Congratulations and welcome home. Mr. Cavalier, thank you. That is Carson Newman's new running backs coach, Leonard Weaver. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is the Eagles Sports Network.